We are one big family in Spring Branch and that with the bond oversight committee that sees that we are spending the money where we said we would spend it in the different schools and throughout the community, that I am proud that Spring Branch is one of the top school districts in this state or nation and that we're able to provide for our children today things that were never possible back in the 60s and 70s. In 2005, I became president of the Board of Trustees. And at that time, we were having a little bit of difficulty. The brick walls at Stratford High School were falling off the building. And we had no plan in place of uh, replacing any or all of the bricks, et cetera. So we had moved the students from uh, Stratford over to Westchester, and we promised them that they would be back in the school the following year. Well, at that time, we were also changing superintendents. We went from Dr. Katz over to uh, Dr. Klusman. And Dr. Klusman came in in September, and we hired him in December. And we had no plan for a long-range facilities plan. We did not have a educational plan that uh, we worked on. And we did not have a technology plan at that time. So the board got together and said, we need to start looking at this. And then we started meeting every week for the next year to put together a facilities plan and an educational plan and we work technology into the bond program in the facilities plan. At that time, we were running buses that uh, we have had since the 70s and uh, breaking down. Uh, the schools were being built in the 60s as fast as we could build them. At that time, no schools had air conditioning, so we went out and found any and all air conditioning we could find and put in these schools and here 40, 50 years later, these air conditioners were breaking down, the piping system was corroded up and we needed to do something. We hired an engineering firm to come in and evaluate all schools within the district. And at that time, uh, we had 46 different locations. They did a study on it and came back to us and said, here's what it would take to replace the school. Here is what it would cost to upgrade the school. And the board decided that if it was over 65% to upgrade the schools and still have the old structure and the old piping system and all, that we would look to build new schools. We formed a community group to look at and give input to the board on what should, we should do about replacing schools, et cetera, before we went out for a bond issue. So, through about three months of meeting with over 150 people, it seemed like weekly, uh, we came up with a solution with the engineers that we would replace 12 schools and upgrade other schools. The citizens of the community voted unanimously to uh, float a $597 million bond issue, which passed and it happened at the just right time. Number one, uh, construction was down in the Houston area, so we were able to pick up great contracts from contractors. And instead of one or two bidding on jobs, we had 13, 14, 15 people bidding on jobs. And at the same time, we were very fortunate in that uh, the cost of bonds went from where we paid 5% interest on before, dropped below three. And our first bond, I remember, was like 3.67 or something like that, which was unheard of in the city of Houston for bond issues. That is absolutely true. Every school that we have, uh, have built, we have brought in the community. After we hired the architect, we bring in the community to look at the plans and make suggestions of what needs to be done. There are no two cookie cutter schools in Spring Branch as of today, except for some old schools that we have like Treasure Forest and Buffalo Creek. But uh, every school is a unique school. It meets the needs of that community and what is necessary for the children in that community to receive the best education possible. I'd say God bless you and thank you for all the input that you have given to Spring Branch ISD, that this district would not be the district that it is if it wasn't for you the patrons of this community, you are home, you are a family, and everybody 
pulls together. We have our differences, yes, but in the long run, what we do in Spring Branch is for the best interests of all, all children in Spring Branch, not just a few.